So now we'll start with the uh, geometry. So I'm drawing a line AB. I'll take a compass from B. I'll take more than half approximately and cutting on both the sides. I'm keeping the same radius from A to cut on both the sides. So it's where you draw a line. So thus we have divided a line into two parts. If I want to divide this line into four parts then I can divide AO into two parts. Same method as well as I can divide BO also into two parts. So we have divided line into four equal parts. Now let's say if I want to divide a line into five equal parts. Then how would you do it? To divide a line into five equal parts, first I'll, let's say I'll draw a line AB which is uh, nine centimeter long. And if I want to divide this line into Five equal parts. Then I'll take angle 45 degree. This is a 45 degree, so we can keep it this way. We can draw a line from here as well as down. Now remember, always remember, whenever you're drawing, whenever you're using t square and z square, there has to be no gap. You know, there is, uh, there has to be no play. Okay. After this, you take one centimeter arc. Preferably we take 1 cm, it is not required that we should take 1 cm, but we can take any arc, but generally I take 1 cm, then I will cut 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, now maintain the same arc and start from B, cut 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now join. You can name this also. One, two, three, four, five. One dash, two dash, three dash, four dash, five dash. Now join. A to five dash. One to four dash. Two to three dash. Three to two dash. 4 to 1 dash and 5 to B. So we have divided line AB into 5 equal parts. And always remember if you want to do dimensioning, we will be doing dimensioning this way. We will draw a light line, very light line, which and this is 90. So I'll be writing 90 above the line and the arrow has to be this way. Now if you want to divide this line into 6 equal parts, then you cut arc 6 times up as well as down and follow the same procedure. Even if you want to draw 7 parts, 8 parts, you want to divide line into 7 or 8 parts, you, you can follow the same procedure. Now there is one more method which is very interesting like you know this is I feel it's sort of time consuming. So we can follow one more method, how to divide a line into 5 equal parts. We draw a line, we draw angle, again you take 1 cm arc, you cut 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we join last point to point B. This is AB. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you join 5 to B. Keep your set square like this. And put another set square below this. Now make sure that this is firm. And you can slide this set square 
on your board. Generally, we say this is a chup chup gadi method, like you know, in that we are making this wheel far and we are sliding this. Okay, so you join phi to B, then you draw a line. See, so we have divided this line AB into five local parts. And over here, again I can show my dimension. It is very important in all non-sums, you have to show dimensions. 